The world's tropical rainforests are located near the equator, where it is very hot. The direct sun makes more seawater evaporate and then rain down all year. Rainforests get between six to eight feet of rain a year. In Connecticut, we get about three or four feet of rain, but it is also hot all year long in rainforests. So things just grow and grow. It is kind of like a giant greenhouse. The plants and animals of rainforest have adapted to these wet conditions in amazing ways. Only about 1% of sunlight reaches the forest floor. It is dark down there. Ants and insects live in the dead leaves on the butcher's roots and vines. Snakes, lizards, and mammals like tapirs, anteaters, and wild pigs live here. The forest floor is very open, with giant tree trunks and vines wrapping around each other. I am learning about butcher's roots, and let me tell you that these are incredible trees. These these trees are very thick, especially the roots. Butcher's roots can get to be at least 15 feet above the ground. Now that's cool, isn't it? Also, they grow to the side and not down because all the nutrients are on the top of the soil, not down below. The roots are thick and spread out to keep the tree supported like a tripod so it doesn't fall over. Out of all the things in the rainforest, the liana vine is one of the longest. They can reach up to 3,000 feet long. Lianas wrap around trees near them to get to the canopy. When they reach the canopy, they usually go to other trees or wrap around the other lianas in the rainforest. The liana vines in the rainforest have natural suckers on their stems to stick to trees and vines. Leaf cut ants live in the forest floor, but they can go all the way up to a merchant layer to get leaves. They cut leaves with their sharp jaws. They go down to their holes with their leaves. They pile the leaves together and get them wet with saliva to turn it into fungus. That is how leafcutter ants grow mushrooms to eat. There are over three million leafcutter ants in one colony. The understory is dark and very hot. There is very little light because the canopy blocks the sun. It is also very humid because the canopy traps the heat like a tent. There are little shrubs and many liana vines in the understory. Did you know that the morpho butterfly can vanish and then appear again? The morpho butterfly has a bright blue color on the outsides of its wings. And on the underpart of the morpho butterfly's wings, it is brown. So it can blend in with the tree bark in the rainforest. So with each beat of its wings, it produces a blue flash like a blinking light. spider monkeys live? Well, I do. Most spider monkeys live in South America. They live in the understory and in, in the canopy of the rainforest. They also go to the emergent layer, but they have to be careful because harp eagles will try to eat them. Spider monkeys' tails are like another arm. They use it to hang on branches and swing around the rainforest. The rainforest is like their jungle gym. <laughs> 